Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we're going to get jQuery and install it on our machine. So if we go out to jQuery.com slash download, we can see that at the time of this recording, jQuery is actually on version 3.0.0. Now that won't work with Bootstrap for the purposes of our course, so we're gonna to have to do it a little differently to get an older version of jQuery. Now, as a caveat, if you have a client that's gonna be using IE8, you're gonna need a lower version of jQuery all the way down to 1.11 version. But if you're not worried about anyone using IE8, then you should be able to use jQuery 2, which is what we're going to do for the purposes of this course. And I would hope that you're using Chrome as your browser during your testing or Firefox, as I would recommend those two browsers while you're developing. So you can use jQuery with a CDN, you could wire it up directly, but what we're actually gonna do is go out to the CDN and get the file. So I'm just gonna open this in a new tab here on Google. And what I'm gonna do is show you that here, if you wanted to get your jQuery 1.x, so if you had that IE8 client, you'd go here. Otherwise, for the rest of us, we're gonna go here and get the jQuery 2.2.4 version. And so what I'm gonna do is copy that by hitting Control-C after I selected that selection there for the HTTPS all the way through the .js, do not include the quotes. We're gonna go ahead and open that up and you'll see a bunch of JavaScript. Awesome, right? What's that gonna do for us? Well, actually we're gonna save this. So we're gonna just right click and select Save As. And we're gonna put this into our folder with our project. So we're gonna go to C, Dev, Contact Web, Contact Web, JS. Now before you hit save, since this is a third party library and we're probably gonna at some point potentially write some JavaScript for our application that's our own unique JavaScript, we don't wanna just start throwing everything into this directory, it'll get a little messy. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go out to our Visual Studio project. Remember that if we wanna create a folder, we need to do it through Visual Studio so that we don't have any conflict when we try to get it on our project solution over here on the right tree. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. Right click, add new folder. And we're just gonna call this lib, L-I-B. That's where we're gonna store all our third party libraries. Now that my folder is created, I can go back out to my web page here. I can go into the library and I'm gonna store it as jQuery.min.js and save that. And so now I have that downloaded and it's installed on my machine. I can see it here. And now what I need to do is just associate it in the project. So on the library folder, right click, add existing item, and then it will, you'll need to browse to yours. Um, obviously I've already practiced again, so you get the advantage of seeing me right there, but you'll probably be in a different place. Just make sure you browse to your correct folder here. And then once you have that, you select the jQuery.min.js that's installed on your machine and add that into your library. And so what we can see now is that jQuery.min.js lives under the library folder in our JS folder and it is ready to go. The application is still not aware of it and can't use it. So if you tried to run at this point, it still won't look good. It may run, but it won't be laid out right and you'll have no jQuery functionality or bootstrap functionality. But we'll get to that in a later version. For now, we have jQuery installed and that was what we wanted to accomplish. So that wraps up this video. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.